thank you for joining me. This is Street Jam on Crystal Education TV. Of course, we are live at Tutu Junction, Kubwa, FCT, Abuja. We will be getting the opinion from the streets on the topic depression. What is depression? What do you understand by depression? And the solution out of depression. Join me as we go to the streets. What is that goes on easily comes down, deadly come down, and and that thing is job scarcity of it. In like you can see, there are a lot of graduates out there looking for a job, and there is no better job that can what, pay them well. You see some of them after graduating, maybe they studied medicine in school. You find them doing and that, and some are keke riders, right? some are bike riders. But it's not what they study in school, but they are not doing all those ones due to what to survive. Some people are just living to survive, why some people are also sitting like. If you go to some companies like this now, if you are a graduate now, if you come there for a job interview, once they check your this thing, credential and check how much that you want them to pay you now, they can easily get non-graduate to do the job for them due to work. They don't have that mind to give you that amount of money. And another thing is due to work, family issues. A lot of people, they are facing challenges from their paternal homes, some are facing from their work, maternal homes. So you see them, some people say, Due to what they are seeing in the country, especially food of 18 now, the increase is much, and this wears something. And why some people that is working inside town, like from here now to Guarimbo or that bigger houses now, due to the transportation of 18, some people can't cope to go there go through and flee every day like they have been going before, due to what the distance is now much. Yes, my name is uh, Bello Abdelmalik. Depression, depression, depression. I think depression, I would say, it is a it is a man-made thing. When I say it is a man-made thing, if we look at the cost right from the onset, you see government has their own fault, even the citizen, they do have their own fault. The government fault is not putting the citizen into their own program. As it is in the Nigeria of today, the government of the day when they enter the power. Before increasing the or removing the subsidy of fuel, you need to put some things in, in place, which they didn't do. They just went ahead to say, we are doing this, we are doing that. This is subsidy is being removed. While you know that the, uh, the take home for the workers will still take some month or about a year to be increased. So it, it has now become a difficult thing for the citizen to cope with. Look at Okay, as we are saying, the, the fuel thing, look at how much you are selling fuel now. Like this place in particular, if you are going from here to, let's say, Federal Housing Express, before it used to be something like 50 naira, 100 naira. But now, bike will take 300 naira to take you from this point to that same Federal Housing. And the salary, which is what the common man is getting, remains the same. Nigeria of today, with four of 650 naira, you see people that are still receiving as low as 15, 20,000 naira. How do you want them to cope? A bag of rice is about 50 naira and above, uh, 50,000 naira and above. How do you want them to cope with the family of? Let me say, even if it is a newly wedded, you have a wife with you. How do you feed your wife? Some we have two, three, four kids. How do they cope? And the house rent too is on the high side. So I really want the government to look into this program very well. The 35,000 naira they are adding up to the workers is it is not enough. It's not enough, and I think they need to look at it very well. And again, where we need we the citizens we need to cut our cloth. I was, uh, we should make our cloth, I'll be sorry, uh, how do I put it? Cut our cloth into our own side. Instead of making a bogus budget, you can streamline those budgets. We can streamline those budgets. If you know that you are not capable of staying in so so area, stop making projection. You see, that's why corruption will never end in this country. Or it will, it will be hard for corruption to end, to put a stop to cor cor uh, corruption. You are receiving a salary of 20, 25,000 naira. And you want to stay 
in a eyebrow area of, let me say, this is Kubwa, you know? You want to stay in a eyebrow area of Kubwa, which a room self-contained goes as much as four, five, six hundred thousand. How possible is that? You see, any, any, any man which your salary cannot, your three months salary cannot take care of your rent, that place, just find a better place to stay. You don't need to stay in those areas because you have no option other than to steal what doesn't belong to you or to find a way around it. I think uh, basically those are the things that, yes, yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, here we have another person on the street, still on the same topic, depression. Okay, my name is Roland, Roland Ondoma. Hmm. Depression, can I use a layman's language? Yes, sir. Okay, depression is not, it's not sadness per se. It's a state of, um, an emotional state where um, a particular person is tired of doing a lot of things. You just get tired of you just get tired of doing a lot of things. Basically, it could be, it could be caused by maybe a certain ailment or the situation around that person. That's my own way of um, saying what depression is. I don't know if you have advice for people that are depressed. If there's anything you can say to them. Okay, first of all, I'll, I would like to say this clearly. Before a person becomes depressed, it doesn't just happen. Is it like I said earlier on? It's a state of mind, and then it gradually creeps in. You know, so for for some persons, depression might come in as a result of either poverty, or you have not been able to meet up exactly what you want to meet up with. In fact, the situation of the country entirely right now, if not for God, is enough to get someone depressed. Yeah. So I want to advise everyone out there, first and foremost, because I am a believer. First and foremost. I like us to understand that once we embrace Christ to start with, a lot of things can will not follow us through. Yeah, so so you think less and then trust God for things to get better. Thank you very, very much. Here we have a beautiful lady still on the same topic, depression. I don't know if you have anything to talk about depression or okay. Well, if you ask me, I would say depression has to do with um, our mental state. You know, for someone, someone don't just go into depression like that. There are several things that could be contributing factors to depression or someone getting depressed. So I think one I'm going to talk about is um, inferiority complex. When you feel that you don't have a sense of adequacy, you feel that you can't measure up to friends, people around you, or even siblings. Because sometimes you can, in fact, it's, it's, it's disheartening to know that some people go into depression because of maybe what their siblings can do or what they can't do. Do you understand? So sometimes depression is something, it's not something we should overlook or maybe ignore because a lot of people have died due to depression. They don't have people they can talk to, they don't have people they can relate to. You understand and because of that they are gradually sinking into these things and before you know before anyone around them could even say jack they're already into it and they can't come out i have a friend who has suffered something like this it was so unfortunate but thank god god saved her you know before i could we are too close and before she could say anything she was already you know into it she was already eating her up as in deep 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 until she could even confide in me and said do you know that i've been sitting sometimes i've been on drugs taking drugs for depression you know sometimes she goes into the toilet sit down sometimes she there, there are these thoughts of suicide coming suicide sorry coming you know kill yourself this that 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 but at least thank god she's fine today i think one of the way out for this depression is finding someone you can confide in someone you can talk to at least from there i think this will help Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Okay, we heard it from the streets. Different persons with different reasons why people go into depression. But then we have a health practitioner who will be talking deep into depression. Depression is a common mental health condition. Uh, you know, that cause a persistent feeling of sadness 
you know, and also changes in how one thinks, sleep, eats, or even thinks generally. You know, uh, depression can affect anyone, whether male or female. You know, women are more likely to be dis depressed by, uh, you know, than men. And then having certain risk factors, you know, make someone uh, make it more likely that one might have depression. You know, maybe neurodegenerative uh, degenerative disorders like Alzheimer's disease or Parkinsonism. Depression has types, several types actually. There are more ones that are more severe than others. You know, less severe ones are like persistent depressive disorder. It might take longer, but the effects are less severe. You know, the most common and more severe type of depression is actually the clinical depression. That type is even of interest to us. So. Uh, the clinical depression is also called major depressive disorder. You know, a diagnosis of major depressive disorder means one has felt sad, you know, worthless or low for most days uh, in a week, you know, while also having other symptoms such as uh, sleep disorders, you know, lack of interest in activities that was once enjoyed and even, you know, change in appetite. Well, there are certain signs and symptoms of a depression. You know, uh, feeling very sad, hopeless or worried. You know, not enjoying activities that usually bring joy. Uh, being easily irritated or frustrated. You know, trouble sleeping, that's insomnia, or sleeping too much, actually, hypersomnia, mm. having less energy or low energy or fatigue, you know, lack of concentration is also a symptom, you know, experiencing pain such as headache, uh, stomach pain, or even sexual dysfunction, and maybe having thoughts of self-harm, and then even of suicide, all these are symptoms one can tell if there are, is depression actually. The good news is that depression is treatable, I mean completely uh, treatable, okay? Uh, I can classify maybe the treatment into two, basically a non-pharmacological treatment and the pharmacological treatment, okay? Non-pharmacological, that's where the uh, psychotherapy comes in, that is top therapy. So there are other activities that are still non-pharmacological, which I can also call lifestyle, you know, changes. Uh, these are like eating healthy, that is healthy diet, uh, physical activities, and other activities, maybe avoiding of alcohol, you know, spending time with loved ones, all these actually help, okay? And then there are the pharmacological ones, which uh, entails taking of drugs. There's a class of drug that is usually called antidepressants. So those drugs can be, you know, prescribed by a medical practitioner, and then it helps. And it can be a combination of the two, you know, both uh, psychotherapy, the talk, and even medication and uh, you know sometimes they can be what is called complementary medicine that's uh, use of both traditional and uh, western you know medicine examples are acupuncture you know there are certain people that are professional in that actual acupuncture and then even body massage research has shown that water is important in maintaining uh, mental health you know, dehydration may increase uh, one's chance of anxiety or depression. So actually taking water helps in case of depression. And same thing with supplements. Supplements are basically natural substances. Some are antioxidants like vitamin C and others. So they, they actually help relieve stress and which can also help in cases of depression. It's true 
true that generally depression cases are on the rise. Okay, basically reasons for increased cases are maybe stressful life, uh, you know, events, which can be, you know, uh, difficult experiences, that is, death of a loved one, or even divorce cases, you know, <laughs> just divorce cases itself, it's on the rise. So it's, it, it can actually cause a depression. You know, there can also be medical conditions associated with that. Chronic pains, maybe pains felt by diabetic patients can also really cause depression. And there are some medications that the side effect is also depression, okay? So, you know, so many things, you know, rising cost of living without maybe a complementary rise in, in pay and others. So a lot of things actually. Engage in regular physical activities, that's regular exercise, you know, getting quality sleep, uh, basically eating healthy diet, you know, spending uh, time with loved ones, and even avoid, you know, avoiding alcohol, which are, uh, because alcohol itself is a depressant. Uh, yeah. So all these, you know, are things that one can engage in to basically prevent and even help in treating, uh, you know, uh, depression. But the major thing is if symptoms exist, you know, seek the attention of a medical practitioner. It's very important so you can be guided how what to do. That's it for today. Just like our health experts said, avoid alcohol. Take enough water and above all, stay around your loved ones and make sure you share your problem with trusted friends. We do this again next week. Thank you. I am Joy Rotimi.